My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Glamo here. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamo, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Today I am going to be teaching you two different ways to cast off your project. I'm going to show you the knit off method, um, or I guess you can call it binding off in knit, or you can call it binding off in purl. So, if you finish your project and you're on the knit side, then I will do that first and I will show you how to bind off your work. Get your project off your needle so that you can be done with it. Um, but before I start that lesson, I wanted to show you in the previous lesson, the continental purl stitch lesson, I had explained to you that if you were to knit one row and then purl the next and then knit the next and purl the next that you would end up with a stocking net stitch and this is what a stocking net stitch looks like it's it has v's on this side which looks like the knit stitch and on the back it's got bumps or it has bumps and that's the purl side so that would be like the garter stitch where it shows bumps on both sides um but stocking net is you've got um a right side with v's and a wrong side with bumps. <laughs> so I ended with a knit stitch row and so that means that I will start off showing you how to cast off, um, not cast off, bind off, I'm sorry, bind off in the knit stitch method. So what you would do to bind your work off if you ended your row with a knit stitch is you would go ahead and you would knit as if normal two stitches okay so there's one and there's two okay and now that you have two on this right needle you're going to take well, let me see if I can do it and look through the camera <laughs> okay so there you go and there's the second one and you just bound off one stitch now we are going to knit another stitch because you need two stitches on your right needle in order to bind your work off. Maybe if I hold my hands down further, I won't get out of shot. Okay, so now I have my two that I need. And now I'm going to grab that very first one and take it off my needle. See, and if you have to, hold on to the hold on to the second knit stitch that you made so you don't let it fall off and then grab it and then there you just pulled off the one that was here you pulled it off the needle and that is how you bind your work off okay now let me do it in silence so that I don't keep messing up ah I just got off camera again what is wrong with me get out of shots. Now I need more yarn though. Okay, so see, it's coming off our needles. Oof, I should just tell y'all at the beginning of this video to fast forward to the end of the video because the beginning I keep getting off shot. Okay, now let's see if I can do it without getting off, off camera. Grab that first one, see? And then I'm going to hold on to it. And then I'm going to bring this one through and then lift it off. Yay! Knit one more. Because you have to have two on your right needle in order to bind off. Now, let's say that that is just way too hard for you. So what you can do is what I said earlier. Grab that first one. And very carefully, don't take the second one off just pull it off your needle and there you go you can do it that way as well whatever is easiest that might be easier for kids to do 
<laughs> what am I talking about? That was easier for me to do. <laughs> okay, and you know what? These circular needles is kind of in my way. That cord is in my way. Okay. This is not going to be a very informative tutorial if I keep getting off shot. Pretty little bees. Oh wait, did I mess up? No. Okay. Take that off. Keep that one on. Pull that one off. And now we're down to one on this one and one on this one. And we're going to knit this. Now we're going to take the first knitted one and bring it over the second one and we are finished. And now what you would do is you would cut your yarn and um, what I would do is I would make another, well, like with crochet, I would cut my yarn right here and then I would bring this little tail through the loop, okay, so that it's secure and then I would just bring it all the way through and then you'd be done and then you would weave in your tail, okay. So now I'm not going to cut it because I don't want to end the skein of yarn with just this little swatch because then I'll just throw this away. <laughs> okay. So that is how you bind off the knit-on method. Um, I will make another little swatch so that I can show you how to bind off in the purl method. Okay? Alrighty, I'll be right back. Okay, so now for the purl bind off method, it's pretty much just like the knit bind off method. We're going to purl two stitches. Okay? Okay, and then we're going to grab the first purl stitch and bring it over the second one. And that's it. Now let's purl a second, another second one. <laughs> another second one, because we always have to have two. Okay, so now just grab that first one. And bring it over and off. Okay, so that is how to bind off in purl. After this, I decided I'm going to show you another method of binding off because it is the Russian style of bind off, and for some reason, Russians have figured out how to do it in a very simplified way. <laughs> so, let me see. I'm going to now do the Russian style bind off. Okay. Let's hope it works because they didn't. I didn't learn it. Um, I didn't learn it with the purl stitch. I learned it with the knit stitch. So put these back on what you just purled. Put them back on. Okay. And now you're going to grab those two and you're going to purl them together. And that is another way of binding off. Okay. 
So there you go. Now we just bound off. And now we've got one pearl. And we're going to pearl a second one. And we're going to slip them back onto our hook. Onto our, not our hook, I'm still thinking crochet. Going to slip them onto our left needle. Okay? And now we're going to bind, or now we're going to purl those two together as a, ah, as a bind off method, if I can stay in camera. I'm too worried about staying in camera, so I have to look through the vise or through the window here. Okay, so now that we've purled those two together, lift off, and there you go, see? So what I'm finding is that it's a little bit bigger of a V-stitch, but not too bad. And now, even though we're on the purl side, I'm going to do it using the knit stitch method. So just pretend that's the knit side. There's no bumps there. See? See those bumps? Well, you don't see them. They're not there. We're pretending that they're not there. <laughs> okay, so I've already got one stitch on my, on my needle. We're going to pretend that's a knit stitch on my needle. Now we're going to knit stitch a second one. Okay? And then we're going to slide it back onto my needle, my left needle. I think I am. There's one. And there's the second one. And now, those are the ones I just slid on. Now we're going to knit those two together. Okay? As a second bind off method. Second Russian bind off method. Actually, I don't even know if that pearl Russian bind off is really a pearl Russian bind off because what they called a Russian bind off was with the knit stitch. But hey, if it's not, I just made it up then. Okay, now knit another stitch and now slide it back onto your left hook, both of them. Okay, and now knit them both together. So to me, this is easier. I like the Russian bind off method a lot easier. I mean, a lot more. So I think this is what I will always use. I do hear that it's a little bit stretchier. So maybe for something that you don't want to be too stretchy, you might want to use the first method that I showed you, okay? But like if you're making a hat or the cuffs of a sleeve or the bottom of a sweater this might be a good method because like I said the uh, V's are a little bit bigger so if your work is this big and you bind off the Russian style it might kind of veer up like that unless you block the whole thing um, so if you want it to continue to stay completely square or rectangular or however um, you might want to go with the first method that I showed you darn it I was talking and so now I don't know Oh yeah, I have to sew, I have to knit these two together now. Okay. That's what I get for talking. Okay, so that is Russian bind off method. Easy peasy as that. Alrighty guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this very last basic knitting tutorial. So I made six of them and uh, be sure to go back if you need the practice go back to the very first one and do all six and uh, in no time you will be awesome at this <laughs> i'm still trying to get awesome at it so i need more practice too Alrighty, guys i hope you enjoyed this i have sure enjoyed teaching you the little bit that i know and uh, don't forget to visit me back here at Made With Love by Glamour. Don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can um, be sure to know when I upload my next video. Alright guys, I love you. Don't forget how much I love you. And don't forget to love yourselves. And don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. Let's make this a better world for all of us to live in. If we all do that then eventually it will be a better place. Alrighty guys, I love you. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamour's channel. channel.